Hi, my name is Noah Gift, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use Visual Studio and build out a console application in C Sharp. What's nice about this is it's about 20 lines of code, and it's very straightforward to build out console applications using Visual Studio that work on Windows, uh, uh, OS 10, or Linux because of the fact that C Sharp is cross platform. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get started with building a console application that will repeat a phrase in number of times. To start with, I'm gonna to go to the file menu and I'm gonna say new project. And it'll open up a uh, recent project template. Uh, in, in my case, I'm gonna select this one, which is console app, uh, a project for creating a command line application that runs on .NET Core on Windows, Linux, and OS 10. I'm gonna go ahead and create that. And now I'm gonna name it something and call this uh, phrase generator and in fact I'm going to put this uh, at the root of my projects directory here and then I'm going to go ahead and say next and I'm going to use .NET 6.0 great okay so now I'm in this phrase generator and just to start things off here the first thing that we want to do to run this uh, hello world is go ahead and select this icon start without debugging and this will pop up uh, a message and we can see in this console app, we've got, you know, essentially hello world, right? So pretty straightforward, but uh, I want to build something a little more sophisticated. I want to build something that can uh, ask a user for a phrase and then uh, how many times they'd like to repeat that phrase. So in order to do that, the first thing I'm going to do here is just clean out the code that they gave me and add uh, a variable declaration. So I'll say this, I'll say declare variable. And then underneath here, we want to uh, have our integer. So I'll say int count, and this will be zero. And notice how I'll need to put a semicolon here so that uh, it's able to know that that's a line. And then I need to, to give my uh, display here some kind of a prompt so that a user knows what's happening and uh, that will allow me to use console.write again. So what's nice about Visual Studio is that it gives you this really great uh, tab completion. I'm a huge fan of tab completion in the shell. Uh, and again, I can just go and accept what it tells me. And then from here, I'll say phrase generator, which will be the name uh, that I'm gonna give to the user. And then I'm gonna show you a neat little trick here, which is that if I do a, and I'm gonna go ahead and close this to give myself a little bit more room. So if I go through here and I say dot environment, do you see this new line? What's nice about this is that the new line will allow me to automatically create a line afterwards, which is, which is really a pretty convenient way to build out console apps. Now I'm gonna ask for a phrase, go ahead and do that. And inside of here, we'll again use our tab completion, uh, console.write line, and then I'll do the same thing. You know, I'll say, you know, what phrase would you like to repeat? And again, I'm gonna use that, uh, that uh, same environment.new line here. So go ahead and do that, environment.new line, great. And then I'll do a semicolon. Okay, great. Next up here, we'll ask for um, underneath here, the actual read line. So I'll have to do a var. Uh, and this allows me to uh, flexibly handle null values. And so I'll just say console.readline. That's exactly what I want. This is going to prompt the user for this input. And then uh, I'll do one more prompt. And this will be the uh, phrase count. So how many times do I want? to repeat this phrase and I'll say console.write line and then I'll do the phrase, you know, how many times do you want me to repeat? Want me to repeat? And then again, we'll do this uh, environment not dot uh, new line here, which is a, a neat little trick, new line and semicolon. And so from here, we'll, we'll need to declare a um, convert and this will do convert to int32, and then uh, I'll pass that into this uh, console uh, dot readline right here. So, so the idea here is that 
uh, you will accept the input from the user and then you'll convert it to an int32, which allows me to then do things with that later. So really we're pretty close here. The only thing left I need to do is create a for loop. And fortunately, uh, inside of C sharp, it's very straightforward to create a for loop. And I'm going to say uh, at first here, before I do the for loop, I'll say console.write line and I'll add uh, some fancy new uh, dot net six uh, functionality here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say repeating and notice that dollar sign allows me to do uh, a fancier form of string formatting. And I'm going to add a nice uh, output here using caps that lets me say repeating the phrase and then I'll add in the, the string substitution. So this variable that I declared earlier now gets substituted in line. This is very similar to the way Python actually does uh, string substitution with F strings. And then I go through here and I say, uh, we'll first do this uh, count for, uh, just to, to make a neat little um, section here. And then we'll say, uh, repeating phrase for count, perfect. And then again, I'll do my uh, environment not, dot new line, perfect. Okay, that looks great. Now, really the only thing left is the for loop. Uh, and then again, this just gives the user some, uh, you know, a prompt that tells them what's happening, which I think is a good idea. So we'll, we'll do a for loop here, which is identical almost to most languages that do for loops. We'll do I equals zero count plus plus, right? And, it, and in fact, it just completes it for me. And, if, and, and notice here, what's great is that it even knew that I was gonna use that count variable uh, from earlier, which is, which is pretty awesome actually. And now I just need to put the logic inside. So we'll go through here and we'll just say uh, console.write uh, and <clears throat> yeah, we'll do console.write uh, line here and then I'll again do that fancy string substitution and uh, we'll go through here and say the phrase, right? This is gonna be the thing that we asked the user for. And then uh, I just have to do the uh, environment not do, dot new line. So, so pretty straightforward to build out uh, a console application. You can see it's about 20 lines of code and uh, we'll also need to do a semicolon. Perfect, okay, so uh, we're ready to go. Looks like we've got this console application. I'm gonna go over here to say start without debugging. It's gonna open up a prompt here. Let's go ahead and test out our code. So what phrase would you like to uh, repeat? Uh, go to Mars, there we go. And it says, how many times do you want me to repeat it? Uh, let's see, uh, three, I think there's three people trying to go to Mars, there we go. We see go to Mars, go to Mars, go to Mars, press any uh, key to close this window. So very, very straightforward to build out console applications and in fact use logic uh, inside of C Sharp here. So even if you're coming from other languages, I, I would definitely recommend giving C Sharp uh, uh, a try, especially if you're using Visual Studio. And one thing to note is that this is actually running inside of a Mac Pro 16 inch machine and it works quite well.